So, so how do we know child abuse when we see it? I, I, for me, and I will tell you what, the reason I want to raise this issue is that in my world I treat drug addiction all the time and I see all kinds of personality disorders all the time. And the number one issue that I see behind all that is dissociation. Mm -hmm. Childhood experiences that are so shattering that they exceed the brain's ability to regulate. Yeah, but the, as you well know, the brain is a balance of positives and negatives. You have positive experiences and negative experiences, and if you have enough love, respect, and and uh, predictable, you know, nurturance, and good then attachment, you, and good attachment, you can deal with some negative experiences. A lot of people will tell you, I was spanked uh, as a kid, and I grew up fine. Well, it's not that's that you? spanking. That's you it's a, I, I happened to be spanked when I was growing up, and I grew up fine, and I love my dad. My dad. I'll let, no, I'll let, we'll, we'll be the judge of that. Yeah, just right, right. Right. <laughs> the point well taken. Right? But the point is that, look, your grandfather probably washed his clothes at the river. It doesn't mean you can't right. learn a better way to do it. We now know good ways to discipline kids where you can get kids to be much more cooperative. You don't have to berate them. You don't have to name call. You don't have to get in their face and scream at them. And this woman was trying to get other ways of helping her. Such as, give me a couple examples. What, you narrate back to the child. So the happiest toddler is all about that. The kid's upset and you narrate back. You're so mad, you didn't want this. You say you don't like this, something in that, in that order. And then you, when the kid calms down, then you give them their consequences. Or in this case, to do a timeout. To, yeah, I have no tried problem. The timeouts. It didn't yeah, work. Well, you, yeah, but she you, wasn't doing it well. I, 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 I mean, know there's a way to do it. I understand that. Believe yeah. I have triplets, and I had to learn how to do oh, timeouts. Oh, well, there you like, go. Do you there have you kids? Go. I do. A 28-year-old. Okay. So it, it, yeah. it's, and it's different than being a pediatrician of kids. Sure. It, having, being uh, just a parent. Of course. By the way, what was this kid's crime? It was wiggling in class and having a pencil sword fight. I mean, please, this is normal seven-year-old boy behavior. I say take him to the playground in the morning, a half an hour before school, let him run around, get his spielkas out, as we Jewish mothers say, and I guarantee you he's going to be a lot calmer in school, but I want to make an important it's legal point. It's hard to point. do in Alaska in the winter time. <laughs> <laughs> right. I want to make an important legal point about child abuse, because yes. I think this case is a wake-up call for everybody in America who says, I'm just doing what my parents did. Yes. Because which is, we which have is evolved. Not, by the way, that is not a, a appropriate excuse. That right. is not, no, it's not a good excuse. It is the excuse we people evolved. use. I know, because I'm culture, fine. Yeah. And we That's now say, there don't have to be physical scars. There were none with this child. Psychological abuse, humiliation is child abuse. That's the finding in this case. Absolutely. That's the finding across the United States in child abuse cases, if you humiliate your child, you cause physical pain or discomfort, legally, that's child abuse. Uh, well, and I want to remind people again, it's the brain we're talking about that's here. And the brain is a very delicate plastic or organ during development, and you can, you can shatter its yes. capacity to... But we're to also talking about a culture, and we're talking about our people who belong to this culture. Parents don't, I mean, you don't, you learn Roman history in high school, you learn algebra, you learn nothing about conflict mm -hmm. resolution and communication.